Hello everyone. My name is Oworo Tet. It's been a long time since I came to you to have this one-on-one -on -one talk. So now we want to bring, I want to bring you up to date. There are these bumps, the strip, rumble strip. Uh, the common name in Kenya is the drr. As many people will tell you, when you listen to drr, the bumps, when you drive on them, you are nearing a dangerous bump. So triple rumble strips, commonly known, the nickname in the country is drr. So today I want to take you shortly through uh, a presentation of the reason as to why we have these bumps, where we get them. Because if you see currently in the country of Kenya, there are many, many accidents that are led to these drrr bumps. Some of them are made differently. And you find that the way they are making them, the standard, the standard of the making these bumps is not unique. As for what you can see on your screen right now, you ask yourself, what is the SOP, standard operating procedure, that has been used to make these rumble strips? People wake up, bumps are mounted. As you can see on this particular road, this is being done. If someone passed here in the morning going to work, when they come back in the evening, they did not leave it. And then they will find the drrr bump. And the drrr bump has caused many lives on Kenyan roads. This is another example, a more modern. Look at this too. This, the size is pure to serve its purpose. But if you look at this other one, you get to ask yourself, how, what is the purpose of this? Somebody would say, what do we even need a bumps for in a, such a curve? But then, if we have to make it, the drug bumps, I will give you the other names in other countries shortly, they have a purpose. There is a reason as to why they are made. I want to move to the purposes, why they are made. Look at this. Rumble strips are grooves. They call, we call them rumble strips. They are grooves or indents place on the road, an indent, something that is inflated slightly above the road, they are indents placed on the road, footpath and between lanes. They produce a vibrating sound when you run over them. And the sound that is commonly known is the drrr. Someone will tell you when you go over the drrr bumps, then you get to meet this. So they are grooves or indents that are placed on the road. So what are the characteristics of rumble strips? The characteristics of rumble strips are, first, the rumble strips, they are called rumble strips. In other countries, they are called the sleeper lines. Normally when the driver is going to doze or to sleep a bit, then they run on top of them and it is majorly to alert, alert. So in other countries, they are called rumble strips. Other countries, they are called slipper lines. Other countries, they are called the audible lines, the corduroy, the corduroy, corduroy. For us, we know it as the drrr. All, all are road safety features to alert in attentive drivers maybe you are you are doing something else and it, you you are in an intentive so they are there to alert the in attentive drivers of potential danger by causing a tactical vibration and a rough audio that is a rumbling the drrr, transmitted through the wheels into the vehicle interior rumble strips have several low profile bumps that provide the audio, the tactical audio, just as I've said it. So those are the characteristics of the rumble grips. And then 
areas where you find the rumble strips. Areas where we are going to find this, such as uh, somewhere you are driving along a, a sharp bend when you are approaching a, a tall center, a sharp bend, an interchange where there are sharp joining junctions, school zones. So basically, Rambo strips serve the purpose of, there is one purpose they serve, speed reduction. They are not supposed to be there to bring damage. They are not supposed to be there to cause an accident on the road, but they are just there to help alert an inactive driver. Types of Rambo bombs. We have the center line, we have the runoff, and we have the shoulder and the edge. In Kenya, we have the across the lane, the across the lane. But in other countries, they are on the shoulder, they are on the edge, they are on the run to the left clutches and right clutches. Some of them are in the center line, as of what I'm going to show you now. This is a simple map of how they are you find that we have the center line rumble strips shoulder rumble strips center line rumble strips again and the edge line so this is just a simple structure of how they are some of them are to help you maintain assist if you're going to drift they bring you back i'll be bring it more closer to show you this this is just a simple map though not to scale you see the shoulder the black line area of travel, the other one. So this one is in the center, center. So that if you are going to go to the other lane, the rumble strips will, drrr, the drrr will drew you. And then you're like, okay, I should not go there. I should remain on my lane. So this is basically the reason as to why they are there. But you find that there are gaps inside them. So these gaps are commonly used to allow bicyclists to travel through. As that is why you wonder, like, why are they three? Why are they four? A bicyclist can use it to move on their people are always reducing the speeds at the rumble strips. Rumble strips tend to make drivers a little more alert that way is changing maybe you are coming to a junction you're into a bigger bump you are coming to a school zone while a driver may slow down to go over a speed bump or an autopilot the vibration sound of rumble strips immediately alert the driver that there could be an impending danger danger that is away time a rumble strip and they should be very small to just bring the auditory vibration brrr, the drr kodroi as other people call it the alternative of this is called the speed reduction lens instead of building uh uncertified and under standard bumps that we have seen as the drr like you see right now in kenya a lot of people, a lot of people are getting to lose their lives because of this. So I urge you, my government, instead of using the rumble strips, we could use the speed reduction lens. Slightly, they bring the audio as you run over them. In this way, we make our roads and infrastructure more safer because the rationale of using them is to increase the driver's perception or speed and cause them to slow down. And as I normally say, road safety is a message of love. And only those who have true love will share this with you. Road safety are measures put in place to help reduce possible deaths, possible injuries, possible damages to the environment and property. My name is Oworo Ted. Thank you.